the first step is to face the uncomfortable situation that is what you have to do it doesn't matter how rich or how poor you are you have to go through the same thing hi guys this is rajiv bhaskar i help you with your english speaking fluency and your confidence so today i would like to talk about a very common problem that i normally get from different different people they say that i know english i can speak in english but the problem is the moment i start speaking in that time sometimes i lose my confidence i feel nervous so how to overcome this problem and why does this happen so let's start the discussion first of all i need to clarify what do i mean by confidence what do you mean by this confidence this word i believe that confidence is not something that we are naturally born with no i don't believe in that confidence is not naturally we are born with no not like that what do i believe that confidence is something that is a skill that anyone can learn it by practicing that is what i believe because when i started speaking in front of camera that time i had no confidence even when i start speaking in english i had no confidence i used to feel nervous i used to feel uh, very uh, weak in english even i used to feel that no i'll not be able to speak what i really want to speak so that type of lots of hundreds of problem i had so initially i had to face those problems that i already said you so the problems are very very common whatever you do let it be in speaking let it be swimming let it be uh, going somewhere for the first time let it be facing uh, the people new people okay so whatever you do uh, let it be uh, learning the music let it be learning the dance so whatever we do for the first time or in a very initial stage we are in in that particular thing definitely we are going to get nervous we are going to feel weak we will not get where it is ending where it is starting so these are very very common whatever you do for the first time in the initial stage so you have to accept this that yes this is for the first time i am doing i have not done never before so this is very common thing that happens with that is happening with me as it happens with any other person those who experience this for the first time so we have to accept this so this is the first point so if you do not accept this thing then definitely you are going to feel nervous and you will get irritated you will get bored about this i don't want you to be irritated about this okay so you have to accept this first of all then the second point that i want to talk about is the most important point that is practice now what do i mean by practice practice means doing something in a very regular way continuous way doing something again and again repeatedly again and over again but doing something that means you want to be expert in that particular field or that thing whatever you want to have in a very comfortable manner you want to deal with so you have accepted the bs i am a beginner so i have to face these are the problems i will get nervous i will get very uncomfortable that uh, way is very, going to be very rough for me as i am in the initial stage the first thing the second thing is practice so whatever you practice we are human being first of all we have to understand that we are human being we naturally have the fear okay naturally have the fear so how to overcome the fear how to overcome the nervousness we have to practice let's take the example of speaking so you are saying that i know grammar i know the tense i know how to speak in english i know the sentence everything i know but the moment i start speaking but the moment i start something that time i get nervous 
that is the problem right so what you have to do is you have to face the same problem again and again okay take preparation take the note that this is what i am going to speak or this is what i am going to do or this is what i am going to talk on okay so take the uh, organized way the note then you take the preparation and practice again and again in front of camera if you don't want to face the camera for the first time normally you keep the recording on that voice recording on and then you speak you will see that for the first time you are going to make lots of mistake lots of mistake the second time the number of mistake you made in first attempt that will become less like for example if you make five mistakes in first attempt in second attempt definitely will make less than that like three or four one will get less then you try this third attempt in third again you will see that yes the number of mistakes you have made in that two attempt that definitely that will decrease okay so that way when after three four or five attempts you will see that you are very confident in speaking that particular thing so that practice you have to carry on if you think that no after practicing five times after doing five or ten times i'm finished i'm not going to do because i'm not good at it it is not possible for me no because this type of feelings will come that's very natural even i also face many times and till now i face I, I accept this okay till now i am making this video you see i am sitting in front of camera and i am talking just at the starting of this video when i start my camera and i started speaking just the few seconds of starting of this video i felt a little nervous i felt a little uncomfortable but the moment i progressed okay after 2 minutes after 3 minutes or after some seconds i get very comfortable now i'm very comfortable now i'm speaking in front of camera very comfortable whatever i'm thinking in my mind i'm very comfortable to express that uh, to you so i don't have any problem now but initially as you have not practiced you are very new to this particular environment you are going to face lots of problem that you have to accept so first point keep in mind first point that you have to accept that yes this is my initial stage i am a beginner i have to face lots of problem accept this then your 50 percent problems solve here and then rest 50 percent problems are going to solve in your practice practice every day one hour two hour or three hours the longer you practice, the better result you are going to get and the faster result you are going to get. So that's up to you. But I will recommend every day at least one hour. At least one hour you practice. So when you start practice, that time also you are going to get very uncomfortable, very nervous. But you are not doing that practice in front of common people. You are just practicing on your own in your, sep in your separate room okay so nobody is there to see you nobody is there to judge you okay understand this thing so keep practicing you will see in the process of your practice you start developing the confidence at the same time you will also learn how to overcome the nervousness so nervousness will go slowly gradually it will go out okay so that thing we have to understand now if you say that Rajiv, no, I don't want to practice, I don't feel like practice, then I'm sorry to say you, because what more I can say you for you? Because each and everything that we want to have in our life in a very comfortable way, the first step is to face the uncomfortable situation. That is what you have to do. It doesn't matter how rich or how poor you are, you have to go through the same thing. Okay? So you have to understand this thing. So to be very precise answer to your question, to your query, if you really want to overcome the nervousness while speaking, if you really want to have the confidence in your speaking, in your, uh, in your feeling, then you have to practice. So start practicing. And how to practice, how not to practice, 
all and everything i have discussed in uh, two videos two separate videos are there i will definitely link in the i uh, button definitely you can click on the i button and you can watch the video you can practice that so if you practice you are going to get the result it is impossible to not get the result even after practicing so that day you start your practice from that very day you are going to get the result it is going to be a very small amount but you are going to get the result and when you will the amount of practice will increase the amount of quality the amount of effect will also increase so wait for that effect to grow and keep practicing that is your job i'll come back with more such interesting videos more such powerful videos to help you learn this language as i am learning if you have any query if you have any suggestion definitely you can leave in the comment section below i'll definitely try my best to reply your comment to reply your uh, query i'll come back with more such interesting videos till then take care bye